you know, I'm so sorry, y'all. Like, I didn't came on, totally forgot to turn the lights on, and I'm kind of nervous because I've broken the um, top piece of my phone tripod stand. So, it seems to be working. I just got to make sure I don't make no sudden moves because if I do this damn thing's going to fall over. But, all right. <laughs> okay, but none of that out the way. Here to talk about uh, some crazy stuff that's been happening, you know, in the media this week. This is Tabloids and Trading Topics with T. As you guys know, I have my Long Island right here. And I'm actually, right quick, uh, smoking something different. So, um, Pixie Drips, this is actually uh, grape dust. So, I went and got this because I normally uh, get the... Uh, Strawberry, so decided to give this a try. It's all right, it's all right, but y'all didn't come here for that, y'all didn't. So, we're gonna start off with the prayers. So, uh, first, um, rest in power to um, Fresh Kid Ice. Uh, well, hit he, uh, his birth name is uh, Chris Wong Wong, but we know him as uh, Fresh Kid Ice. He's uh, he was from the Two Live crew, uh, passed away this week at age uh, 53. As of right now, I haven't gotten anything on uh, what the cause of it was, but of course, rest in peace, rest in power to him, prayers to his family. And also, just uh, send prayers out to um, uh, Maya Campbell. She has been going through it in general, but this week uh, it's kind of like really gotten put out there. Um, so you had this uh, rapper, uh, who uh, I guess saw her uh, trying to get um, buy some crack or whatever, pretty much uh, video recorded the entire thing, put it on, like kind of uploaded it to the net, claimed that he didn't think that it would spiral the way that it did, but it did, even prompting L O Cool J to say, if you have information on her, to let me know, and even uh, try to uh, get her put back. I think he actually did get her put back in rehab, but she checked out. And his response to that is, I mean, you can only help those that want to be helped, which is true. And if I'm not mistaken, she has been suffering with some type of mental disorder. I don't want to, like, say what it is because I don't want to be wrong. But I know some people are saying that she uh, has bipolar depression or bipolar disorder. I should say others saying that it might be a schizophrenia. But, you know, she, like I said, she's going through it and... Like I said, she is a renowned uh, African-American actress, but I mean, if we can just lift our hands up in prayer and just hope that whatever hurdle she's going through, she can get over. And speaking of um, going through, last week I did mention that Nelson Ellis did uh, pass away at, uh, well, from, um, I think I said heart failure, heart complications, something like that. Well, it has thus come out from his family that um, he had been fighting um alcohol addiction on his own and had decided to go cold turkey and he was a and he was actually an addict so you have some people who just drink he was actually an addict what he needed to uh you know move about his day and because he went cold turkey without help uh it was said that he had a blood infection his kidneys had shut down uh his blood pressure dropped um his liver became swollen and then his heart pretty much just raced out of control. And he kept this out of the limelight because he didn't want people to know about it, which is understandable. But just with the previous and with this, you know, what I'll say to anyone is, like I said, if you are going through and you need help, get help. And, you know, like I said, it may seem like, you know, you're being weak, but it's actually showing strength. You know, when you can say that, hey, I have a problem and you're trying to get help. But I commend him for trying to do it on his own. It's just sad that, you know, his well, his life came of it. So. All right. So now that we got the heavy shit out of the way, let's go ahead and let's start talking about entertainment and the fuckery that has gone on this week. I'm. I'm going to try not to keep y'all too long, but y'all know sometimes I'll be sipping and we be conversating and shit. We be here for a minute, so we'll see how this go. So let's talk about Janet. Miss Jackson, if we nasty. her. Now, we all know that um, 
she had her unbreakable tour going on decided to start a family with uh with Sam and because of that she uh post postponed her tour until afterwards so now she's uh gearing up to go back on tour in September and I know that um she based off of the prenup that she signed with him if she um stays with him 5 years I forget the amount. It's been a while, but I know that right now it's talks of her walking away from a two, um, I think it's a $200 million settlement <clears throat> that she's willing to leave that on the table if Wasam agrees to let her take the baby on tour. Now, I don't know how to feel about this because I don't have kids, and I do know that some children should not necessarily be around like strangers and outside of you know a certain um i guess we could say comfort area because of the fact that they can get sick of course children should you know how can i say explore and be able to you know see certain things and whatnot because of the simple fact that that's the only way their immune system are going to get stronger but the trade-off is that her being on tour and the different things that you know they may be around that could negatively impact her child so I don't know. I want to know how y'all feel about that. Cause a lot of people are literally talking so much mess on her saying, why are you doing that? Or just have, you know, just take the settlement. Hey, what's up? What's up? Have with some just pay everybody back for the tickets that they bought. But I'm thinking that maybe she enjoys touring or she wants to give people the show that they paid for and not just give them their money back. Even though people have, um, the option to uh, get refunds was out there, so I know if people really wanted to, you know. So I don't know. I, I don't know how to feel about that, but I mean, the reality is, is Janet's baby, not mine, so I can't tell her what to do with her child. I just hope that whatever she does, she does it for the right reason and what's going on, and uh, not to jeopardize the safety of her child. That's all I'm saying about that. So a little bit of Real Housewives news, not a whole, whole lot, just, just a little bit, just, just a schmidget. So Fake and Apollonia, they have finally agreed to, um, finally agreed to a, uh, confidential divorce settlement, which is funny because they did have a prenup. So the fact that they were even able to negotiate. And I think we all know why they negotiated. What's going on? I, I'm guessing um, you can't, probably can't hear me or whatever. But what's up? How you doing? Um, but it's funny. They had a prenup and, you know, they went in to try to, you know, discuss things and whatnot. But I'm pretty sure he has enough dirt on her. And she's part of the reason that he's in jail right now. So... I can kind of see that, but we don't know what the amount was. We don't know exactly what was disclosed, but we do know that they do have legal joint custody of their two children. So I don't know if we're going to see this play out on the upcoming season of um, <clears throat> Real Housewives, especially because we know that she is taping with at least Portia, but it said they're just taping just for the apology scene. And also in Real Housewives news, so Nene posted on uh, Instagram. So it says uh, Nene leaks through. Uh, she posted this. So it was a screenshot. And it says Nene leaks threatens to leave the Real Housewives of Atlanta after major fight with other ladies. Claim new spoilers. And then she captioned. So at the very bottom, she wrote, where does all this stuff keep coming from? Fights, glasses thrown. If anybody dreams of this shit, they are catching it. They're catching a fucking case. I will sleep on the courthouse steps to bring a bitch to justice if they don't catch what's under the front seat of my car first. Hashtag not happening. Hashtag stop lying. Hashtag bitch gonna be in handcuffs. Hashtag I don't get down like that. Hashtag grown woman shit. P.S. I am very clear about who the chemical imbalanced housewife is that's looking for a moment, but they are not gonna get it. Chemically imbalanced. Now, that's good shade right there. The question is, who is the chemically imbalanced housewife? Because the only person that I can think of is 
Portia Williams and that's only because of the shade that she threw at her a couple weeks back. So I don't know, but part of me also feels that this is just them trying to, you know, hype shit up for us to, you know, watch this season. So you said Kenya or Portia? Possibly Kenya, but I don't see Kenya. I mean, well, Kenya might come for Nene, but I, I don't know. I don't know. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. But this even makes us makes me wonder, was there ever really a fight going on? Because there might be. I don't know. Portia. I'm thinking everybody feels that it's Portia. I said, I only think it's Portia just because of the fact that she shaded Nene when, they, when she was on Dish Nation. That's the only thing that I could think of. But like I said, I mean, being very cryptic, you know, that, that cryptic shit, but it's okay. So moving on. Last week, I did mention that BET is um starting this new series called On Tour With. So it did debut this week, this past week. And who is Mahaba? I don't know who that is. But it did debut this week uh, with Meek Mill. I didn't watch it because I don't really, like, I don't fuck with Meek like that. So I wasn't going to watch it. But apparently, what's going on? Apparently, it had rave reviews. That's what, you know, Rhymes with Snitch says. I don't know. That didn't give us any, you know, numbers or whatever. But the funny thing is that even though, even though, it aired on tour with Meek Mill. It has thus come out that I guess the upcoming um, tour days that he has with Yo Gotti because he's on tour with him. All of those days have been postponed. So kind of short lived if you, if you ask me. <clears throat> so next I want to talk about um, Child. Okay, all right. So next I want to talk about Laura Govan. So she was doing court last month for a hearing to examine her finances to work out payment schedules. Now, if you're asking about what she was, um, she had a while back, I think it was last year. I don't know the exact time frame, but she had, um, sued or, or was attempting to sue Gilbert for, I guess, uh, infecting her with multiple STDs. And then it finally came out that, okay, that didn't happen. So it was a false accusation. So she owes him $3 million. So this is what that was for, for them to kind of work out a payment schedule. Well, this is the second time that she has not shown up for court. So now a bench warrant has been issued and... I guess whenever, you know, she goes in, she will be sitting on 5,000. So in order to get out, it'd be a $5,000 bond. So I don't, I don't know what's going on with y'all girl Gloria, but I, I mean, maybe y'all, I maybe we need to pray for, her. I don't know. But honestly, I think that this whole thing with her and Gilbert, she just need to let it go. Just, just let it go. It, it ain't even worth it at this point. Cause like I said, now you finna be arrested, now you finna get arrested have to bail out for $5,000, and then you still are going to owe him $3 million. So, mm, I don't know. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm rolling through this. Yeah, we, we going to be done pretty damn quick today. I mean, because in my opinion, there really wasn't a whole, whole lot that has come out. So, I don't really know. But... Memphis, Mickey Memphis Wright, he has hinted that he is going to be on a Yamla Expose My Life. Now, what he put on IG was somebody's about to fix my life on TV. That's all y'all get for now. Stand by. So we all know that he is an attention whore. He's a media whore. And the fact that he had to put on there on TV, which... We all know and Yala don't I'm not gonna say she'll do shit for free because I don't know her like that, but we know it's gonna be on TV. But to make sure you put it in there. So I I really I don't know what to say. I really don't, but okay. Alright. If it happens, I mean I'ma watch it. I mean, it's nothing but a fucking train wreck waiting to happen. I don't know how much he's gonna get paid for it. But it's going to make for good TV. So this is going to be Nephi on Ayala Part 2 just with Memphis. That's pretty much what this is going to be. 
Now, Bill Cosby. I don't know what to say about Bill. Bill, I don't think Bill knows what it means to lay low. So, Bill just turned 80 this week. So, of course, he has everything going on with the case and whatnot. You would think that he would lay low. But he went on Twitter to and he uh, tweeted, um, do something kind for somebody today. <laughs> the emoji. Do something kind for someone today. So, without hesitation, let me see if I still have it up on my browser. Get, okay, here it is. So, a guy by the name of Shabuti. With with the quickness, without hesitation, I uh, posted a um, GIF, GIF, however we're going to say it, of somebody shooting a peel, which is to resemble a basketball, into, you know, pretty much shooting it, but where the rim is, is a fucking martini glass. So pretty much, and then it has Bill's face on there, and the fucking facial expressions and everything. Now... Yeah, it's uh. So if y'all want to look him up, it's uh S H A and then Booty. So Sha Booty. The shit was fucking hilarious. I I'm not gonna lie to you. I fuck it like it is one of those where. Show it. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, let me. Okay, pan out a little bit. So that right there is the meme. Well, not the meme, but the gift. Try not to sit here and break my shit because it's already fucked up. But I saw that shit. I I hollered. I fucking failed the fuck out. Cause it's one of those where, of course, we should not be making fun of um sexual assault, sexual abuse, rape, none of that. But this happy birthday tweet backfired in the most epic fucking way. And I just need for Bill just to lay low. Just 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 for real, for real, just just stop. Just, just stop. I understand you want to, you know, celebrate this milestone. You want people to celebrate it with you, but th that wasn't the way to do it, bro. That wasn't the way to do it. I ain't got shit else to say. That wasn't the fucking way to do it. That was fucking stupid. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if he did it or not, but still, just the fact that this trial is still ongoing, just. Let the trial end. Let shit die down before you show your face again. That's all that I'm saying. Because now, of course, he has to deal with his ridicule. That's, that's all that I'm saying. Good old Bill. Good old Bill. So let's talk about some love and hip hop um, Hollywood news. So we got three people to talk about now. The third thing we're going to talk about is actually going to segue to the other fucking person. Because the person involved... That's from Love Hip Hop Hollywood. Don't even fucking matter. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Well, I, here's the thing. I don't know. I truly don't know. And I don't know if we'll ever really get the answer on what happened, why certain things may have happened. But I don't know. I really don't. And it's fucked up that it's fucking with his legacy. But I will be the one to say that no matter what he did, it's still not going to make me think anything differently about the Cosby show. Because that was and forever will be my shit. Boy and Blake in the fucking period. Alright, so, love hip hop. First off, um, Kibbles and Bits. No, no, not Kibbles and Bits. I'm sorry, that's that's little Bow Wow. Pork and Beans and Hot Dogs. That's <laughs> I tend to get people's name mixed up, but Pork and Beans and Hot Dogs, for those of y'all who don't know who Pork and Beans and Hot Dogs is, that is Keisha Coleslaw. Okay, so Pork, so pork and Beans and Hot Dogs, y'all. She is being sued. Now, back in 2000, what was it, 14, she was uh, dating Birdman. Birdman had another, you know, chick up in the crazy and whatnot, you know, uh, Pork and Beans and Hot Dogs. So all the shit, Pork and beans and hot dogs with fucking ape shit, acting like a fucking wild boar, decided to sit here and attack said female. Now, three years later, this female is now suing Keisha Cole for 
$4 million. Now, I don't know how it's broken up, but she's suing $4 million for pain and suffering, emotional distress. I don't know. What the fuck is distress? Fucking up today. <laughs> Medical expenses, loss of earnings and future earnings, and loss of body part. I'm trying to figure out what fucking body part this shit lose. But that's not here nor there. Now, if some of y'all are asking y'all selves why did she wait three years, she probably knew, okay, well, Keisha ain't got no money. And I think she was probably waiting for her to make, drop like another album. Her hair, it could be hair. It could be hair. But wait for her to maybe like drop like another album or something to want to sit here and take the money from that. But since she's now going to be on Love and Hip Hop, and I think I'm hearing the blogs that uh, Mona, I think, offered her like a million dollars to be on some shit like that. Because Keisha was supposed to be on Love and Hip Hop a while back, but she had this extremely high price. So it is what it is. But now that she's going to get some money from Mona, I guess old girl like, well, and there's no time like the present to sit here. And um, come for the money. Now, I think what would have been crazy is if we would have known that she signed a while back and then old girl came out to Woodworth for this because that could have gotten, you know, that could have been part of her storyline. But if if uh, Porky Beans and Hot Dogs come back next season on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, if she is even, you know, fucking entertaining, then we'll fucking see that. But I'm like, oh, all right, all right. Three years later. So, in addition to that, I was about to say, I almost thought I fucking bleed the fucking tab. So, second thing. Oh, that is her. So, it, it, it very well might. I don't, I don't know. And the crazy thing is, like, I do review Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. <laughs> but I won't be able to review, like, the first two episodes. I think it comes on, on, I think, um, the... If it comes on on the 24th, then I'll be able to review, like, the first episode. But I'm going to be, you know, MIA for pretty much from the 31st of July up until, what, I think, like, the 17th, 18th of August. So I'll be backed up two weeks. Now, if, you know, if things work out, y'all, I, I might still have to go ahead and do it. I don't know what she got going on. Kishko never has been interesting to me. But her family has been. Exactly. Kishiko is not interested, but her family is. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe just make. But here's the thing. And I'm, I'm going to keep it all the way 100 with you. All the way 1,000 with you. I started fucking with Kishiko when she tried to denounce being black and wanted to, you know, overemphasize everything else. Oh, that would be some good shit right now. Because initially, you know, I guess um, Frankie has said that, you know, her father was white or some shit like that. So she was doing the whole biracial thing and whatnot, literally just denouncing everything when the whole Black Girls Rock um, show that BET does um, every year. She had her thing about that because, you know, she's just not black. She's this. <clears throat> they come to find out that your fucking father's black and whatnot. I don't like shit like that, like like me. Like I did my whole ancestry, you know, um, thing, and I knew most of what the fuck I was I was gonna see on there. Like the whole me being American Native, I knew that because of my fucking grandmother. Me being Irish and all the shit, I knew that because of my grandmother. What I didn't know is that I had two percent Asian. That shit fucking threw me. But you don't see me, you know, wearing American Native garbs and whatnot. You don't see me doing all this other shit because regardless of whatever the fuck else I mix with. More than 75% of my makeup, even though it's fucking obvious, I'm fucking black. So that shit doesn't change me. It doesn't change what my life is. <laughs> I'm just, well, here's the thing. But it came out her father wasn't white. So DNA tests and everything proved that her father is actually fucking black. But she, for years, it was just that whole, her, the whole, well, the whole, I don't really know. But when Kishko went on that whole fucking thing, I just had to fucking do away with him. So the last thing, like the like, I was a fan up until um, I can't remember the the album, but the album where she had brand new trust. I enjoyed a few songs on that album, and then the woman to woman. I only enjoyed trust and believe, but outside of that, I haven't been checking for Kishiko outside of that because of the fucking fuck shit that she does. 
But moving on to the very next person. Now we have, uh, I think it's Masika Kali yeah, Kalisha. Masika Kalisha. So, apparently she has uh, been demoted in her, um, I guess, level in terms of uh, love and hip-hop Hollywood. So, I'm guessing she's going from main cast to supporting cast member. But the reason being is because she's refusing to film with one of Fetty Wap's uh, old flames. So she has a list of fucking tweets, but I'm going to read the tweets. This is going to be a story time right quick. So she, I'm going to just read the way that it goes because I guess she knew that she couldn't post just one whole thing. So she had to do a whole lot of other shit. <laughs> but she's going to be on here. She, she's going to be on here. But she, it starts off, I refuse to film with my child's father. Oh, well, it says fathers, but she didn't put the thing on it. But fathers, old whores. Now I don't. Now first and foremost, um, Masika, we we not we not gonna downplay the whores, okay? Now you probably meant whore. I'm not whore. You probably meant hoe. It's a difference between a hoe and a whore, okay? A hoe is a motherfucker that you found on the motherfucking street corner and shit. You don't know what the fuck this individual may be having going on in his or her body, because you know men and women could be hoes. Now whores are the ones you find in brothels. Whores are the ones that are escorts that you have to pay for their fucking services. So there's a cleanliness to it. There's a price tag to it. They're they're on the upper echelon of them. I'm doing too much, but I'm just saying. But anyway, refuse to, you know, film with my child's father's old horse. I choose being a being a amazing mother. Now, sweetheart is an amazing mother, but I will let you slide. Choose being a amazing mother over being a ratchet bitch to help a hoe get famous at dot dot. Continue on. The expense of my family and my sanity, period. You're not going to allow someone to degrade me and stalk me and harass me all fucking season. Continuing on. And actually, and actually think that I'm going to film with this, what is this, psychopathic fame whore, would be a hoe, stalker like a good little show monkey, survive without saying my name in every scene. Then VH1, I, I see, I would have to pause here because you fucked up right here. I'm going to pause here and I'm going to go talk. I'm going to love it here by the ladder right quick. Right quick. <laughs> help the hoe out. Well, in helping the hoe out, you helping yourself out because it is, it's that paycheck. People stupid shit. Chapel lips ain't sexy. I, I can't be on here with chapel lips shit. My hair might be slightly uneven because I need to get a haircut. As I get done drinking this long guy and I rehydrate, I'm going to get a haircut because my shit looking a little bit rough. I'm just saying, two weeks, two weeks. <clears throat> but here's the thing. With, it, uh, with this whole VH1 thing, you had Jocelyn Hernandez do the same exact fucking thing. Now, she was mad at Mona. If you mad at Mona, be mad at Mona. But what you don't do is you don't sit here and bring up VH1. And that's, that's just because here's the thing. Mona only occupies a small portion VH1 is a part, I gotta say, refill the vape, y'all. Refill the vape. But VH1 is a part of Viacom, which is a bigger engine. So the fact that Jocelyn Hernandez, or Shanelica, as a dime like to call her, she, the fact that you said VH1, who is attached to Viacom, Viacom may not want anything else to do with you. Had she just stayed with sticking with talking shit about Mona? Or V or um love and hip hop, you will be okay. But the fact that you said VH1, you, you fucking with your paper. So the fact that Masika said then VH1 instead of then Mona or then love and hip hop or then Mona Me Entertainment. This might be the last time we see her. I know some of y'all probably sitting back like, yes, hallelujah. On this Sunday morning. But she says, then VH1 decides to take me off the cast photo as a punishment because I'm trying to hold on to some integrity on TV. <clears throat> I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to read uh, her like a script. I'm not going to sit here and read her, her Miranda rights. I'm going to save that for when the show actually come on. 
But anyway, <clears throat> you can't scare someone who has no fear. My only fear in life was having a daughter. <laughs> I don't like how she loved <laughs> God blessed me with one, and now I ain't scared of shit. There's so much I don't speak on and about my situation with my daughter and her father because my daughter's protection is more important than me telling the truth and clearing my name. I have to set an example. She used Anne right this time. For her, I'm far from perfect, but I'm perfect for her, and I'm not going, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to allow anyone or anybody, which is kind of the same thing, to change that. But let's be clear, I'm not going to allow a bitch with, <laughs> now here's the thing, this right here was the read. This shit right here was the read. <laughs> but, I, but let's be clear, I'm not going to allow a bitch with no nightstands to call me a one night stand. Ha! <laughs> that shit was a read, I was here for that shit. <laughs> Oh, that shit, man. I, I laugh from a good fucking place with that one. Now, I ain't done with the story time, but you gotta pause for a sec. I've never in my life had a one night stand. And trying to convince the world of this lie to make you feel better ain't gonna make you look any better. I've been on the biggest roller coaster ride of my life over the past two and a half years. And I'm pr damn proud of the woman and mother I've become. Now, the only saving grace Masika Kalisha is going to have <clears throat> is Femme Boutang Moniz. Okay. You know, you know, see, see, again, I said I wasn't going to do it right here. I'm going to save it for when she's on TV. I'm going to save it. <laughs> and what they say? Well, I mean, here's the if she's a one day stand, that's better than the one night stand you had damn in 24 hours. But again, I'm saying, but but real nice, real cute though. That that read about how a bitch with no night stand would call me a one night stand, that was cute. That was cute. I liked it. But I digress. So. The last little bit <clears throat> of love and hip hop Hollywood news. Now it's really not love and hip hop Hollywood news, <clears throat> but the next topic actually involves a love and hip hop Hollywood star. So it's not really him, but it's the her. So Ray J, <clears throat> we all remember Ray J put uh, Kim Kardashian on the map. We all know this. We all know that, it, you know, it was him doing those uh, things, you know, <clears throat> to her that made her popular. And now we have this big old car trashy and, you know, whatever the fuck we want to call it that we have to deal with today. That's what we got going on. Well, <clears throat> a, a home video leaked. You love the car trash? Oh, okay, well, <clears throat> excuse me. Well, hey, I I don't judge. I don't judge. But what I will say is a home video leaked. Now, <clears throat> this is back during the time they were together. So I'm guessing we could say roughly 10 years or so. And in this video, <clears throat> we see uh, Kim smoking from a uh, bone that looks like a dick. <clears throat> now I ain't showing this. I ain't not, nah, uh, uh, mm -mm, I ain't showing this. Y'all can find the shit on the internet now. Y'all can find the shit on the internet. <laughs> but she is smoking from a bong that looks like a dick, and he is smoking from a bong, pretty much where. Okay, so <clears throat> imagine that these are are a woman's legs. So the legs are like this, not cocaine. She's smoking weed. She's smoking weed now. <clears throat> but the legs like this with his mouth, you know, in the pussy area. And he's smoking a bong like that. That's what he's smoking. So that shit <clears throat> is floating right now. And that could be very damaging to her brand, especially because she did a video a while back. <clears throat> well, she, there's a picture of her daughter wearing what it looked like um, a bra with a, a corset on, you know, a waist trainer. But it was just a dress that looked like it. And she, um, I think it was maybe, I, I think it might have been Snap chat where she was defending herself and the price of her defending herself <clears throat> there was some white lines on her stand or her table 
Come to find out, it was just a marble table because everybody was saying that she was doing cocaine. But come to find out, she said she's not doing cocaine. But in this video, we could clearly see that she gets high. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's all I'm going to say. So it will be funny to see how the Kardashian family decides that they're going to rebound from this. <clears throat> now, in case you guys are wondering, yes, there's a lot that has come out with um, Caitlyn Jenner on The View talking about the whole Rob situation. I ain't going to talk about it. <clears throat> I was going to scoop. I was going to try not to do it, but I appreciate you doing it. I appreciate you doing that. But I'm not going to talk about it only because I feel there is so much more that is going to come of this. So, if anything, I'll probably save it for next week. But I'm going to leave that where it's at. So, we got, I have one last, see, again, we this is quick. We're normally here for an hour, but, but we're almost done. We're almost done. So, the very last thing that I want to talk about is Monica. <clears throat> now, I love me some Monica. I really do. She can blow like this girl can sing her ass off. Like, I don't think she gets enough credit in the music industry because of her vocal ability. But we ain't here to talk about her vocal. But I know I love Smo, but we're not here to talk about her vocal ability. We're here to figure out was she being shaded towards Beyonce, who I call Bianca, and Sierra. That's that's the question now. Sierra had posted a picture of her son and says, my little rock. So he pretty much has a fro hog with, you know, his uh, hair being braided up. So I'm going to just. So that's pretty much how her son looks. So that's that's the stuff um, <clears throat> he has. Now, of course, Sierra and Monica supposedly have been feuding or more or less Monica has been feuding with Sierra over the past couple of years. But we don't know why. Well, what happened is someone had uh, posted a comment. So it was Bank Rose. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty dope. Like, if, if if I didn't have a profession that I have, I would actually do something like that. I actually I would have my whole fucking head blown out. But that's not the point. But this person named Bank Rose commented and said, time for a cut. Dot, dot, dot. If you can cornrow, you can put a clipper to that temple, dot, 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 starting to look like Blue Ivy, which is, which is very, very fucked up. And here's the thing. I am never going to be one to say and talk about natural hair for obvious fucking reasons because my hair is very, very au natural and I fucking loves it. Now, this is what somebody had uh, commented on this picture. Well, Monica liked <laughs> this comment. And, of course, people are in a fucking uproar. Now, I had a defense. <laughs> Why did Brittany... Well, I mean, here's the... You have a lot of people that don't give a fuck about people's kids. And you have a lot of people that are um, keyboard gangsters. It's what they do. Because most of these motherfuckers that sit here and they do this shit right here, I guarantee fucking tell you, is, fuck, is these fucking millennials. And most of them are... And even if it's some of those motherfuckers that was born... Like, I was born in 86. All right, so I'm 30, but my parents are in their late 60s. So that lets you know the mind frame that I was born into. But even with that, I came up during a different time where you, you wasn't really, you know, Twitter, Facebook, thugging and bugging. You know, you don't do shit like that. So it probably was somebody trying to say him be funny and whatnot because, of course, now I'll get back to him. But Monica liked the, the comment. Now, when I saw it, I... I, on the blogs, I'm just like, eh, I think I know what possibly happened. But before I could even get to it, I refreshed it right before I came on. And Monica actually had a response. So on her uh, IG, um, well, the picture was her going to her notes. So I would assume it's probably, um, well, whatever. It's some type of typing that be on your phone. But she says... I would never ever talk about anyone's children, which you didn't, but she then says, I scrolled and read comments like everyone else. The difference is I know and love these people. It seems I accidentally liked to comment as I was scrolling, which has happened to many others. 
I would never, I repeat, never speak, t uh, text, or type, or intentionally acknowledge something cruel about a child. And then, you know, what she actually captioned in the picture of that. Uh, girl, bye. <laughs> Don't do that. But she said, I would never. I'm sorry. I'm so, yeah, I'm sorry. I never would I ever. I support show love to all the women and their children. Please stop spreading this untruth. Thank you. I absolutely love B and CC. The good part is they know that. They both know that. Now, here's the thing. I, I, I know you did the whole girl by, but, but here's the thing. The fucked up part is this. I, I mean, here's the thing. I believe her. I, I do believe her. Exactly. And I even had it to where I was on Facebook and somebody popped up on my Facebook, you know, as suggested friends, and I'm on my phone. So it has the option to, like, like befriend them or remove them. And me and these big ass fingers of my, I swole up and down. I hit remove, but I guess too much of my finger hit was on the accept shit or request shit. And it requested, I was just like, Oh my fucking goodness. I don't know. If she unliked it. And I think what probably happened is she was probably scrolling up and down and she probably didn't know it happened. And I think somebody had brought it to her attention, but I'm just saying for me, like, but when, but I instantly noticed it cause I was trying to remove said person and accidentally ended up requesting their friendship. And I went to their shit and undid that and went back and removed it. Cause I was saying, but just like, I know this shit is probably going to come back and bite me in the ass because it was some drama going on with that. And I don't get too much into it, but I was just like, fuck. <laughs> cause I'm just like, Oh man, this shit is finna come back and help me in 2017. Well, shit that happened in fucking 2016. Shit was fucking crazy. So when it happened, I sat back and was just like, okay, maybe it was unintentional. Maybe. But eh, it's not a good look for Momo. And then you got people in the comments and shit saying how Brandy needs to come through and you know sit here and get her together, this and the third. So it's not a good look for Momo. It's really not. And again, when I say I love Monica, <clears throat> I love this woman. Like, when her shit comes out, I buys it, even if I don't know what's going on. Like, it's certain artists that I will buy their shit without even listening to the fucking album or without listening to other shit. Like, when Latoya Luck came out <clears throat> with Back to Life, <laughs> before each, uh, you know, I said I was, you know, out playing, you know, my job and shit. And as soon as the shit came, was available, I went and purchased the album and have had that shit on constant replay. Because I bought every last of the Toy Lucky album. I, like, out of all Destiny's Child, I, real talk, when they first came out, I thought she was the most beautiful out of all of them. I ain't gonna fucking lie. But, but here's the thing. I, I'm gonna keep it all the way 100 with you. Though I like Beyonce, <clears throat> I've only truly bought one of Beyonce's albums. I can't say that about any other fucking person, but I bought every last one of the toys albums, and I'm just uh, kind of sick on that. So, we're going to go ahead and get to the congrats. Now, before I get into the congrats, for those who don't watch, or is a first time watching the brother and shit, I ain't going to say she was ugly. I ain't going to say she was ugly, but it was just something about Latoya that I thought that she was so beautiful. Tall, statuesque, slender and everything. And to see her in that real black spider outfit when they did with me because Beyonce was a mermaid, Kelly was a giant, Latavia was a genie, but then fucking Latoya was a fucking spider. Y'all hate to hear his name. Motherfuckers don't know. <laughs> the funny thing is my brother, he loved Latavia and I love Latoya. It was one of those where the two lead singers... My brother and I, we wasn't really fun. <laughs> it was a crazy fucking thing. And then Latoya came out with Tor and then fucking sudden on y'all ass and let y'all know. Exactly. But she came out and let y'all know like, oh, oh, a bitch can sing. I, I was writing too. Love me some Latoya. Love me some Latoya. I'm waiting for her to drop that third video from the trilogy of Back to Life, but that's not here nor there, but she need to hurry the fuck up. <clears throat> but for those of y'all who don't watch me, at the very end, after I get through the congratulations, we pick who gonna take the L of the week, and then who gonna take the W of the week. So who just took the biggest L, and then who do we think is winning this week? And you guys vote. I don't. 
because again, this is our show, but this is your show. So at the end, y'all let me know who y'all think is taking the L or the W. So, and congratulations, Michelle Williams, being a Destiny Child. Her and her boo, who is an NFL chaplain, his name is Chad Johnson. They made it official on, I believe it was IG. So I don't know if he proposed or not, but she's actually putting out there that she's in a committed relationship, which is good because of the surviving members of Destiny Child. No shade meant to be put out there. But you have Beyonce, who now has three beautiful children. You have Kelly, who has a beautiful child. And it seems like Michelle is the lone wolf. Because, again, we're not talking about Latoya, Latavia, or Farrah. But she's the only one on the outside. No, and yeah, and it's not Ocho single for the record. It's not Ocho. Oh, Kelly got two kids. Oh, shit, my B. Two kids. Fuck. I, see, I'm slipping. Shit. <laughs> two. <laughs> but... Michelle has somebody to call her on, so congrats to Michelle, all right? Uh, the TV show Claws, I have not had a chance to watch it yet. My boy James Goldwell has been telling me to fucking watch it, but life has been so fucking hectic, <laughs> and it's not fucking in it. I can't wait to go on fucking vacation, but watch it. Okay. See, now I gotta fucking make time. <laughs> Get into it. It's great. Okay. But they have actually been renewed for a second season, so congrats to the cast of claws all right congrats to all of them hopefully i again i haven't seen this first season but hopefully the second season just builds upon it all right <clears throat> cardi b cardi b so she I ain't even so I'm, I'm gonna leave that one alone. But Cardi B, she is the first female of 2017 to hit the Billboard Hot 100 with no with no feature. So all the other females have had a feature. She is the first hip hop rap artist female to hit the Billboard Hot 100 without a feature. And her song, I think, is Bodak Yellow, has uh, debuted at number 85. So congrats to Cardi B doing a damn thing and being able to sit here and take a platform as ratchet as Love and Hip Hop and fucking move on up. She deserves it. Oh, yeah, she been hustling. <clears throat> okay, I'm not saying... Okay, wait, 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 see, y'all finna sit here driving because I had this conversation with my mother last week. I've never watched Power. She hadn't up until they were doing a marathon right before it aired. I haven't watched Power yet. My plan is to actually start watching Power when I go and leave in September before I go to Germany in October. But I haven't watched it. So, so I'm not saying I don't like it. I just haven't watched it. That's why I was just like, I know y'all probably going to say something. But that... <laughs> that's that's the reasoning that's the reasoning and lastly in congrats congrats to venus williams for advancing to the finals at wimbledon congrats to her even with everything she's been going through and i mentioned it last week and i was waiting for more to come out but it hasn't but she's pretty much been cleared of all wrongdoing from um her uh case and whatnot <laughs> and that is good. So she's been cleared of the whole murder, hitting, well, not necessarily hitting rumble, uh, vehicular manslaughter type thing that was going on. She's been cleared of that. And even in the midst of that being on her brain, she was still able to advance to the finals. And I forget the female's name, but she's roughly 10 years older than said female and still crushed her and is moving on to the finals. So congrats, congrats, congrats to Venus. So, that is everything <clears throat> that I have to talk about for this week. So, I'm here to ask you guys, and I'm going to go ahead and, you know, write it down a tally. Who going to take the L for this week? We can, Well, I mean, I, like, I have something we can chat. Okay, well, look, look, we'll chat for a little bit. But before we do it, who going to take the L for this week? Who going to take the L? And then we'll and then we're gonna see say who's gonna take the W. I ain't, I'm not gonna sway nobody, but based off Okay, so for the W, okay, y'all jumping ahead, okay, but I forget I forgot about fucking Sam. Okay. We're gonna talk about Sam. I forgot about Sammy. 
<laughs> who are oh you must have just joined okay all right so meek i told i, I i'm so serious i forgot about fucking sammy so oh my god how the fuck did Oh, you came halfway. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> all right. So, I think the consensus is Meek Mill. But really quickly, for those who came in later, so we even though, and this is just all the topics. So we have Janet Jackson won the walk away for her two million dollar settlement with his psalm to take her baby on tour in September. Damn, everybody going for Sabbath. Goddamn. And then for the real households of Atlanta, we got Phaedra and Apollonia. They finally have uh, reached a divorce settlement. And then Nene said. The shit ain't happened. We got Meat Mill, who um, <clears throat> episode of On Tour with, uh, aired this week. But his tour with Yo Gotti has thus been postponed for the remainder for all the ones for this month been postponed. We got Laura Govan who has uh, been issued a bench warrant because she failed to show up in court twice because she owes uh, Gilbert three million dollars for falsely lying saying that uh, he infected her with STDs and also when she goes to jail it's a five thousand dollar bond. Memphis is going to supposedly be on Iyamla Expose My Life. Bill Cosby tweeted on his birthday and got drugged up and down social media because somebody decided to put a I <laughs> somebody got his ass together real good. Keisha Cole was being sued for some shit that uh for a bitch ass she beat back in 2014 and now that she don't love a hippity hop uh, Hollywood, she being sued for four million dollars. Masika Kalisha apparently is being demoted in uh, her status because she doesn't want to feel one of Fetty Wild's old baby mamas. Kim Car yes, exposed my life. Kim Kardashian and Ray J private video home video, and I need to come back to this talk to it after we get done. But they video leaked to her smoking a penis bong and him smoking a vagina bong, and apparently it seemed as if Monica was being shaded towards uh, Beyonce's daughter Blue Ivy. And uh, her um, Sierra and Future's uh, son, Future. So that's all of what I really talked about. <laughs> all right, so we're go we're gonna start over. Who takes the W for the week? <laughs> this shit is crazy. Cause I mean, most people. This, I mean, even though we ain't talked about salmon, we gonna talk about salmon. Damn, the hell might go to Laura. Okay, okay. Wait, whoa, what the? F wait, wait, what happened? Now I'm, I, I miss Madonna calling with. Okay, oh wait, hold on. I'm gonna do my research, and we might have. Let me, let me write that shit down. We gonna talk about that shit next week. I gotta do my research, cause you, you not, you not finna call Mama Whitney mediocre. Hell to the no. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one that watched the Legends panel. I'm so glad I'm not the only one. Okay, I don't know. Somebody just put something on there about Wendy Williams. I totally fucking miss it. I saw somebody, somebody put beige and nipping, and they made me think about the Legends panel. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I gotta watch that shit too. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. See, this is why I fucking love y'all. Like, Y'all, y'all are so much fucking fun, and we're actually going to actually make this over an hour because I really thought we weren't even going to get here. <clears throat> okay, so it seems like we have Sammy, Meek Mill, and Laura for the L. So between those three, who taking the L? Between Sammy, Meek Mill, and Laura, and we're going to talk about Sammy in a minute because I don't know how the fuck I forgot to talk about that shit. Because right now, it's side between Sammy and Laura, based off what was put on here earlier. Oh, okay, well, I'm, I'm guessing that we're done voting, I guess. So, <clears throat> I guess we'll just say 
that it's tied between Sammy and Laura. So who's going to take the W for this week? So I did see some people say Cardi and Michelle are tied. So Cardi and Michelle Williams. So I, I want to know who y'all going to say. Gonna say the now, if y'all don't say nothing, then it'll just be a tie between those two, too. <laughs> All right, so I got, I got another one for Cardi B. Want to be paid? <laughs> it's the whole L. Okay, all right. So I'll I'll get. Fuck, I guess Sammy go to. Fuck, I guess Sammy fans hate the whole motherfucking L this day. <laughs> all right. So it seems like Sammy is gonna take the L for this week, and we will talk about Sammy in a minute. And it seems like Cardi B and Michelle Williams will both. Take the W. Yeah, yeah, okay. It, it's it's unanimous. So, with the whole Sammy Sosa thing, <clears throat> I only saw it because, like I said, I do watch Lovely T 2002. If y'all don't watch on YouTube, watch it. Like, she is thorough as fuck when it comes to how she uh, dissects and puts shit together. Like, the whole Rob Kardashian and Black China thing. Like, she has been, like, literally posting receipts and everything else. I respect the fuck out of her. But... She did show it, and I was just like, holy fucking shit balls, Batman. Like, this man went from black to damn near white, and all of in this one fucking clip, he's looking like the fucking Pink Panther and shit. <laughs> Sorry, mom, I don't recognize him. And, you know, here, here's the thing. Like, I do understand that um, some people want to lighten their skin and whatnot. <clears throat> and honestly, when it comes to people like that, I am more concerned about the whole seeking understanding and kind of want to understand where this is coming from. Because, like I said, I spent two years in Korea and I actually have a friend who, you know, um, had talked to me. I forget what her background is, but I know she's of Asian descent. And she had even talked about how crazy it is that the skin bleaching that goes on in Asian cultures because they feel that the whiter your skin, the better. And you have some that do whiten their skin and they feel that those with a darker complexion because they do naturally have melanin in them. If your skin is more tan, then that means that you're lesser on the totem pole because that means that you're out in the sun and you are doing field work or hands-on labor. So the fairer your skin, the more superior you are. And of course, we deal with a lot of that in America to where, <clears throat> you know, like I said, this isn't appealing and the more fairer you are, the better you are. And even within our own culture, you know, those that are, you know, uh, light skin, red bone, they are held to a higher regard than everyone else when just in general, black is beautiful, point blank in the fucking period. So something had to have happened in his life where he feels that he needed to go this far to bleach his skin. And honestly, even though I want to understand why I'm concerned about his health, because the fact that he has done this and he is stripping his body of this natural melanin, what a lot of people don't understand is he is at a higher risk of skin cancer than any fucking body else because of the simple fact he's using chemicals to strip his body of this. So he going to be like Michael Jackson outside with a motherfucking umbrella. Is Hollywood and the demons? It, it could be. And, as, and here's the thing, as funny as it is, and trust me, the shit's funny. I laugh my ass off. I still have to wonder, like, what is going on in his life? And still, it's the well-being that I don't think a lot of people that bleach their skin understands that they are at a higher level for fucking skin cancer than anybody else. I don't think they understand that. And, you know, and because and funny thing is my, <laughs> my commander that he we were out in the sun one day and. In the very first rank, it was nothing but black folks minus one white guy because the white guy was to my right, but the rest of us black. He gonna turn to us and ask us, so do any of y'all have sunscreen? And I looked at him just like, really? And he white. But I looked at him just like, really, bitch? Really? I'm like, uh, sir, see, I, I don't need no, uh, um, no sunscreen. You see this melanin pop right here, this melanin pop. I don't need none of that shit. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck Sammy going through, but I'm just saying he gonna be out there with a motherfucking number. But I like, I he even said like, oh, well, I said that as a joke. I'm like, I understand you said it as a joke, 
But see, I got this melanin pop. He was like, well, you know, some black people, you know, they do have skin. You know, they do get some. I'm like, yes, some do. And the majority of those that do are the ones that are bleaching their skin. Now, for the rare few that get sunburn, ain't doing nothing to them. Yeah, I know they can they they can get sunburn. I understand. I'm like, but for those that do, hey, that's them. But this guy right here, and for the rest of us in line right here, we don't need no damn sunscreen, bro. And then my fucking warning in the bag trying to see and defend. I'm like, oh, that's cute. You trying to defend him, but he fucking is he Mexican, or Puerto Rican? He, he Latin. He 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 Spanish. But you got that melanin popping too. So I'm looking at him like I don't know why the fuck you jumping in there. Cause here's the thing, motherfuckers be looking at me just like I ain't gonna say shit. I, I keep telling motherfuckers, don't say shit around me or to me and think I ain't finna fucking say shit. Cause regardless of what the fuck you think, I love my black skin. I love the nappiness therein of my fucking hair. And okay, well, hold on. I can't I can't sit here and let my shit go crazy. Cause motherfuckers will come in at the last minute and say some shit. He did, but he was trying to be funny, and again, I got his ass to the fuck together. Yeah, yeah, and 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 I I, I do understand, but I had to get I had to let his ass know, just like uh, I don't I don't get sunburns over here. <laughs> okay, all right, this, this is that good this is that good shit that melanin shit. Just because you need some sunscreen because your skin is peeling, don't mean that I fucking need it. Damn. Okay. All right. All right. But and his and again, it's mostly where like I do understand it. I do understand that some people do get it, and it it happens. I and I totally understand it. But that was one of those where okay, motherfucker, you trying to be funny. But for a lot of those that do the skin bleaching and whatnot, it's just if I'm not concerned about anything else, then here's the it might be self hate. It could be a lot of things. It could be colorism. It could be the fact that first time. You must have been in the sun for like a, a long, long time, but it might it might be different over there. It, it might I, I don't I don't know, but and like I said, and it's like I don't like it could be colors, it could be different things, but a lot of it is the media and how the media the media depicts shit and how it even you know tap dances on our subconscious. So I don't know what it is. But <clears throat> whatever Sammy going through, I'm going to pray for the brother. But if that brother ain't sitting here looking like, I don't know what he is. I, I, I don't. I don't. I just know that this motherfucker is going through the shades of fucking looking like, you know, Napoleon ice cream and shit. Is, is that what it is? Napoleon? Whatever fuck that shit is. That's what the fuck his ass looking like right now. <laughs> just look at that shit. <laughs> now... <clears throat> But honestly, I, th I think that's really all. Like, I mean, what else did y'all want to talk about? Like, I don't think that I had anything else. I really don't. Like, I'm mad that I didn't have the whole Sammy Sosa thing going on. Like, I really took, I fucking forgot about that. I did. I did. <clears throat> it looked like a bear. <laughs> and the funny thing is, everybody loves it. He said that I go in. People say that I go in. <laughs> but y'all go in worse than I do. It's hilarious. I fucking love it. I fucking love it. But I don't I don't think I really don't think that I had anything else. I mean because unless y'all have anything else, I mean just 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 let me know. Let let me know. Because if not, I mean I think that I think that's it. I th I think that's it. I mean, cause there's, I mean, there's only a few other things that came out, like you know, Mariah Carey, she's about to pay for her own biopic. I don't really think anybody cared about that, <clears throat> but again, I mean, Mariah Carey, if you feel that you play yourself the best, you know, do you boo boo? <clears throat> I mean, like, trust me, it's not like a whole whole lot that came out that really. <laughs> See, again, it's like it's not a whole lot that came out that I really felt that I probably should have talked about, you know. But I think that's it. All right, so I don't think y'all have anything else for me. I'm going to just bow out gracefully and shit. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this week of uh, tabloids and trending topics with T. I ain't, well, if I'm not mistaken, Glitter did come out around about, uh, you know, September 11th. So they could have a part to play in it. But I ain't going to talk about it. I ain't going to touch it. But <clears throat> for those of you who are watching on YouTube, I do this every Sunday. And I should be I should be back next Sunday, uh, at uh, one o'clock p.m. every time. 
Same Twitter handle, everything else. For the you know, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share for those of you who are here live with me. Thank you guys so much for watching. <clears throat> I really appreciate it. Like I said, we have a good time over here. We cut up all the good jazz. So until next time, I love you all. I will see you guys next week. And uh yeah, peace.